everyone. Welcome to the Harlow Hearth. Thank you for being here and checking us out. Today we're going to be doing a review of a game called Continent Race by Byron's Games. And I just need to do um, a disclaimer here at the beginning. It says, I received a free copy of this product through the Homeschool Review Crew in exchange for my honest review. I was not required to write a positive review, nor was I compensated in any other way. So we wanted to be sure um, to include that. Also, um, the company name is Byron's Games, and the game itself is Continent Race. This is the box um, that it comes in. And then, just to show you a few of the playing pieces, there's these cards that are continent, um, have all these different countries in them, and they're all color coded. So the blue cards are from Europe. Um, the yellow ones are from Africa. Um, blue Europe, let's see. Green is Australia and Oceania. Um, I'll get to the orange ones in just a minute. Uh, the pinkish ones, or magenta, are Asia and the red are from Americas. And in this game, for the sake of the game, they've combined South America, Central America, and North America. And then the orange ones are mystery cards, so that's an extra level to the game, an extra challenge if you include those, which we do. Um, you need to look on the continent cards to see which country or which continent that country is from. So, for example, Germany is orange, but it is a European country, so you would, you would put that with your blue cards in your hand as we're playing. And then also, there's a nice sheet of instructions here that goes through how to play the game. And um, these are called the continent cards. So what this is, is on the one side, there's a map of the continent with the countries. And then on the opposite side, there are the names of all the countries. So specifically, if you get one of those orange cards and you're not sure what continent they belong to, you can just read through this list to help you. And so here's, this one's Africa, here's Australia, and they're also color-coded with the cards. Um, Asia, Europe and the Americas. And then there's also this really nice board, get, uh, board piece that comes with it. Um, you don't really use this during the game, but it's a great reference point. So it has the maps on it and all of the countries that are represented. Um, and then, so the point of the game, the object of the game, and there's a basic level and an advanced level. The basic object is in the in the basic level is to get, um, let's see, we've been playing the advanced level for so long. So the, the um, basic level is to get two continents of non-Australia Oceania. You need to get four cards from, say, the Americas or four cards from Asia and two from Australia and Oceania. And then uh, the advanced level is that you get four cards from each continent, except Australia and Oceania, you always just get two. So anyway, then there's some, some challenges and even some more ways to advance the game. And we'll go through that later. But for now, we're going to pause and we're going to come together to the table. We've laid the cards out um, and to play the game to just give you a little demonstration. So here we have the game set up, ready to play. Each player gets seven cards dealt to them face down, and then they pick up their cards and look at them and individually uh, their own hand and sort them out by color and continent. And then if they have the orange mystery cards like we do in this set for the more advanced play, uh, everybody gets some time to see which continent those mystery cards belong to. So we have the continent cards here out, the reference guides, so that everybody has a chance to do that. And then the play begins to the dealer's left, 
And so to go, player one is going to draw a card from the stack. You can go ahead and do that. And... Okay. I have a mystery card. I need to find which continent. I found it. I'm going to put it with the stack it goes with. Okay. Right. And now I have a set uh, of Euro European countries. I have Portugal, Ireland, Latvia, and Kosovo. Great job. And you can see here that Latvia was a mystery card, but before we started the game, he was able to check to see which continent it belonged to. Okay. Now, now the player needs to draw. Uh, each player has I seven draw, cards in their hands at all times. Okay. So player one will draw the cards and still need to discard one here in the discard pile. Okay. I'm going to discard this European, um... Croatia. Croatia. From Europe. So yeah. you're supposed to always say the name of the continent and the country as you're discarding. All right, player two. Draw okay. a card. I'm going to draw a card. Doesn't look like I can make a set, so I'm going to go ahead and discard... Qatar. And what continent is Qatar in? Asia. Yes. All right, player three. Draw a card. Czech Republic from Europe. Do you have a set? Okay, lay them out. And um, mom can help with the pronunciations if you need. Zambia. The Gambia, Uganda, Uganda, and Burkina Faso. So, um, there is pronunciation help at byronsgames.com slash geography so that you can um, learn how to say each of the countries. And she had two mystery cards in this set, but it completed her set of four cards from Africa. So go ahead and draw enough to get eight in your hands total. So you need to draw four more and then discard one. She needs to draw five more, doesn't she? She has four in her hand. Oh, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, okay. I thought she had to draw for a minute there. And then discard one. South Korea, and that is in Asia. And so we can know that because of the color as well. Um, all right, so player four, I'm going to draw a card. And I do not have enough for a set either. And so I will find one to discard. And I'm not really sure which one is a good one to discard because I need them all. But I will discard Nigeria from Africa. And so just one more note of explanation. We're going to um, finish the game here off camera. But um, so if we were playing this and player one, we're back around to player one, could use this card to finish off a set, they would pick this one up instead of this one, but the only time you can draw from the discard pile is if it completes a set that you can then lay out as part of, of the progression of the game. So that's how you play uh, in a basic version, how you play the game. I also meant to mention 
that um, there are something called challenge cards that have this symbol on the playing card. So if you have one of those, this is definitely for an advanced play. So far it's just been my husband and I who've challenged each other. But it's really neat. Um, if you have one of those, you can challenge another player, one player, to see who can name more countries from that specific continent. So how that works is, so this is Asia, we would take the Asia card and each of us would get, or the two players who are in the challenge would get about 15 seconds to look over the entire list and try to memorize the, the countries in that continent. And then you turn that over and then the players take turns naming as many countries as they can from memory. So I might say Afghanistan and he would say Bahrain. I could say Bangladesh. It wouldn't have to be in order. I'm just reading off the list here. Um, and then the first person who cannot uh, name a country, the other person wins the challenge and they get to draw three additional cards. They get to keep the most useful cards and discard the others so that only seven remain in their hand. But the challenge cards are really fun once you really start getting a grasp of the game and the countries and the continents. Okay, so just to kind of wrap everything up, one of the things we didn't mention as we were demonstrating how to play is that there are white cards from Antarctica, and they are considered wild cards that can be used to complete any set, or you can play them individually, lay them down as one complete continent. So there's two um, white Antarctica cards, I believe, in the whole deck of cards. And so they are highly coveted in terms of who gets them into their hands. Um, a couple other things I wanted to say. This uh, review will be posted with the Homeschool Review Crew. You'll want to make sure that you click on the link in the description so that you can see a number of other reviews about this product. Also, um, a link to the game. This, this company has an app as well as a website that are really helpful. And just a note about how this game came to be. Um, there was a young boy who was hospitalized because of a serious illness. And during that time, um, he watched a lot of the Olympic games that were happening at that time. And the nurses coming and going would, would discuss the Olympics with him. And he started wondering where all of these countries were from, where all of these people were. And he was hospitalized, I believe, for a month. And uh, from that difficult experience, his family and him created this game and have gone on to create a number of other games, which is really neat. And then on the box here, um, keep turning it upside down, um, a portion of Byron's Games Profits Benefit Select Children's Charities. So um, a portion of all the, the proceeds benefit children's charities. And so you can play with as little as two players. Uh, minimum age is seven. However, our four-year-old loves to be a participant as well. And one game usually lasts about 30 minutes. Um, but we have absolutely thoroughly enjoyed this game and have just been so grateful for this opportunity to learn in a fun way and include it as part of our homeschool. So thank you for joining us. I hope you check out uh, Byron's Games, Continent Race. I hope that you check out um, the Homeschool Review Crew, the other reviews that are listed there. And also uh, subscribe to our channel, The Harlow Hearth. We have a number of other reviews coming up as well as some other fun videos and our website, theharlowhearth.com. Thank you. Have a great day.